Hi guys, do you own a Sony camera? Me too. There is a setting that you must turn on that is not on by default on most Sony cameras, including the two that I own. Let's talk about it. Okay, now this setting is not on by default and it causes a problem if you don't turn it on. Let's see if you can spot it. So now it's off. Can you see what it is? And this is with it on. Look up there. Can you see what it is? Ooh, welcome to the gun show. Can you guys see where it is? On. Okay, now the feature's off. On. Can you see what it is? So I think that barrel distortion was fairly obvious and you can correct that in the camera, but it's not on by default in my little ZV-E10 or my Sony a7 III. So what you wanna do is go into the menu and enable that, and then you won't get that weird looking circle, you know, that GoPro fisheye effect when you're using wide angle lenses on your beautiful Sony cameras. So let's go into the menu and I'll show you where it is. Okay, so we're in the menu here and on the a7 III and the ZV-E10, it is on the same menu page, so probably many of your cameras it will be the same so go to just page one well tab one page two of tab one see that lens comp there you go and right there by default the distortion comp will be off you want that distortion comp on compensation on auto uh thank you very much and that way the uh the camera will know when you got a wide angle lens you don't want that circular physique you know so put that on there that's it. Now guys, you know I love my Sony cameras and the Sony APS-C, you're gonna be using a lot of wide angle lenses on those, especially if you're gonna vlog or do any close up work. So you're going to want to enable that distortion compensation because otherwise you're gonna have some footage that you're gonna need to correct in post. And uh, that is not the easiest thing to do and it's a pain in the butt that you don't need to do. So just put in that setting, turn it on auto and then just leave it. You know, unless you want that look, which I don't know why you would. I mean, maybe for photos later, Lightroom would have a profile for it. But for video especially, you don't want those rounded edges, do you? I don't. Anyway, that's it. It's super late. I felt like making a video and making sure you guys know to turn on that setting in your Sony cameras if you want the nicest looking footage. And who doesn't want to look nice? I know. I want to look nice. I desperately want to look nice. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.